the self-confidence I'm talking about is not that kind of self-confidence where you're always looking down on people or somebody um, come, walks into a place and the first thing you do is size them up. I see women who do this to their fellow women and I'm just like, come on. Really? Your self-confidence that you're what you are aiming to get to is that confidence that regardless of how anyone might appear, you're still confident in yourself. You're confident in yourself and you're grateful for that good that they have going on for them. That's the kind of confidence I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that confidence that you, you, um, you're you so confident in yourself that you just look down on every other person. That's pride. That's not confidence. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Debbie Reflects. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about my journey through self-confidence. Now, I haven't always been self-confident. I even think my confidence is still on a journey, okay? It's not 100% yet, but it's way better than what it was. I personally feel that no child was born without self-confidence. Like when you see children playing around in the field, in churches, wherever they are, they are so confident in themselves, so confident in where in their surroundings, so confident, you know, except for other children who might, you know, require some kind of support. But on the average, every child is somewhat confident in themselves. But then as we grow older, we start to lack confidence in certain things, certain areas in our lives. Um, it could be lack of confidence in social um, interactions. It could be lack of, of confidence in academics. It could be lack of confidence in um, public speaking. You know, these things. And you start to wonder, where did this start? Where did this happen? And I've come to realize that lack of confidence or when a person or an individual lacks confidence, um, it's usually as a result of something that has happened to them, either in their childhood, in relationship with people, in a workplace, in school, like something that has happened in the past. Sometimes that we realize that this is what happened that has made me lose confidence in this particular thing and sometimes we don't even know and since this month is women's month we celebrated women um earlier this month and now we are preparing for mother's day i thought why not come here and talk about my confidence journey with the hopes that it will encourage someone out there another young girl like me or younger than me or even older than me that is struggling with your confidence now we're preparing for mother's day so i want you or i implore you to please go out there this month and even for the rest of the year with confidence in yourself either um you're celebrated or not celebrated celebrate yourself celebrate your 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 achievements regardless of whatever you think that you might you should have achieved just go out there and celebrate who you are right now that's the very very first step of self-confidence but in this video i have five points that i've written down that i plan to share and these are points that i know that i did that helped me through my self-confidence so without further ado let's get started <laughs> So the very first thing, like I mentioned earlier, is to identify the problem, identify the root cause. Nine out of 10 in our lives, something has happened in a certain situation, time of our life where our confidence was shook. Okay, <laughs> if that's even a word, where our confidence was like, you know, the foundation was shaken a little bit. In my own experience, I realized that my upbringing was something that actually affected my self-confidence now if you don't know me personally you probably won't, won't know this but i didn't grow up with my parents um for the early stages of my teen days um i think from age 12 to age 16 i was living with non-family mem family members in a different country my parents were um in ireland at the time and i was in nigeria with 
people who I wasn't related by blood, but um, I was, I knew of them or their family friends. And that experience I found um, affected my confidence in myself, in in who I, th I thought I was and who I thought I would be. You know, it shook me a lot um, uh, from the words that people would say to me. I lived in a place where um, I was being referred to as a useless thing, you know, an animal, you know, beaten, you know, that kind of thing. It affected my confidence. And um, whenever I walk into a public place or even to my early 20s, whenever I walk into a public place, I become, I wouldn't say shy. Shy is not the word. Shy is, you know, you're, you're confident yourself, but you just don't, you know, you don't feel, um, you don't, you don't have that, you know, energy or something to speak. But for me, I just felt like, what do I want to say? Who wants to hear me? I mean, um, that word useless, it, it, for a long time, it kept ringing in my head. So I didn't, I wasn't interested in letting myself be heard because I did not want to be talked down or I didn't even want anybody to know that I existed. I just wanted to, I was that girl that just wanted to go behind um, the, 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 the crowd and just sit like nobody knows me. And after a while, I realized that, come, this is as a result of this issue. Um, and I wasn't able to realize this by myself. I sought help and this will lead me on to point two. Point two is to seek help. When you realize that you are lacking confidence in a certain thing, if it's something that you cannot deal with by yourself, then seek for help. If you can go for therapy, go for therapy. Sometimes talking it out with, with someone, and I'm not just saying a friend because sometimes our friends don't even have a clue what we're saying. They might understand to an extent, but because if the saying, if you, if you haven't experienced it, you probably don't know how it feels. It's very true. You want somebody who probably has either uh, uh, knowledge of what you're going through of what you're going through or an experience of what you're going through so I would say speak to a mentor um, if you have um, the funds to employ a professional therapist get them and speak to them in my case I didn't even know that I needed to speak to someone um, a situation had, had occurred and um, when I got to talking to my pastor we started to unravel some things and after my communication with my pastor and his wife that was where I realized that oh my god wow so this is why I'm like this this is why this is why I'm I'm in I've allowed certain relationships because I wasn't confident in myself I didn't know who I was I was still living with the words of oh you're useless oh you don't deserve this or oh you won't amount to anything or oh animal I was still living in that kind of mindset and I didn't realize that that's not what God says about me. God says I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. God says I'm beautiful. God says I'm a good thing. God says that he wishes above everything that I prosper, even as my soul prospered. God says that he has amazing thoughts for me, thoughts that I don't even imagine. So what about me is useless? Why am I useless? And then that's when I realized, obviously not overnight, but as God started to walk through my heart. I then realized that, my God, I am nothing but a good thing. I am not, I am nowhere close to useless. I am so useful. My voice is so useful. My voice needs to be heard in the world, in the community, anywhere that I find myself. I am so useful. There's nothing about me that is useless. Point number three, I already touched a bit about this in Point number two is to allow God in this situation, especially if you're a Christian. When God, God makes everything perfect, isn't it? So when God is welcomed into a situation, what else are you expecting? What else do you want? I found that after I spoke with my pastor and my pastor's wife, and um, I went home that day, and over time with my personal or my quiet time with God, he started to unravel things for me. Is that's the that period he broke down what he meant to me when he said, 
I am wonderfully fearfully made like I am I am a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light like we just read that verse and we think oh I don't know what we think when God used that to explain his love for me to explain how much he sees me as a special being when God made me understand when he says you're the light of the world a city that cannot be hidden that's how I came up came upon that's how I started my YouTube channel because he made me understand that your voice needs to be heard you are not useless in what way or form in fact you are so useful to me and I want to use you I want to use you to um, communicate to other women out there and that's why I'm here that's why I'm doing what I'm doing so yes girl you are not useless. If anyone has ever told you that in your life, please, please, please. You are not useless. You are so, so, so useful. And your usefulness is so is so unique. Like it's 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 different. So point number four, you need to be ready to let go of negative thoughts. You need to be ready. Not everybody's gonna like you. Not everybody's going to welcome you. Not everybody's going to appreciate you. Not everybody is even going to give you a second look. And that's fine. As long as you know who you are, what you are, it doesn't matter. Really, it really, really doesn't matter what anybody thinks, what anybody has to say. Um, of course, the people that are your um what's the, that are in your corner. Even if they want to um, criticize you, they will criticize you with love. They will criticize you with, you know, um, with, with good words. They won't use the word useless on you or make you feel less than yourself. No, they would. Even if you're wrong, they won't do that. There are people that you have in your life that you just want to hear their um, constructive criticism. Oh, ah, Debbie, you did this. Mm, I don't really think you should have done that. And blah, blah, blah. Of course, you need those kind of people in your life. But if you are with people who um, every time it's, a, it's a, every opportunity you have with them is to bring you down or to throw um, um, weird, I wouldn't say weird, but wrong sobs. If you're Nigerian, you understand what I mean by subs, but wrong comments at you. You have to be able to filter these people, filter these words. And don't worry, oh, I'm going to be lonely. Or maybe that friend that you're always calling, suddenly you, you know that you realize that this person is not good for me. But then you don't know who else to call. Don't worry. When God is on your side, he will bring people your way. People that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even think, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know when the person will be introduced into your life. And gradually, 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 you are just you are like, wow, I'm so grateful that you came into my life at the time that you did. They might not even know what they're doing. They might not even have a clue um what they're doing. But when God is ready to filter people for you. He will. So don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I, if I stop talking to this person, I won't have any other person to talk to. It's a lie. You will. Because God will introduce you to the people that he feels that you should be connected to. And he, that will help you. That will help to build you. That will help to connect you to good things, to great things. That will help you to get to that stage, that purpose, that that um, place that God has destined for your life okay and this brings me to point number five fill your heart with good things it's okay to filter when you're filtering things you also want to fill your heart with good things right so you want to listen to people who are in their self-confidence journey so if you're watching me right now and you're in a self-confidence journey well you're doing the you're doing the right thing because you're um learning from my experience and using that for yourself so yeah listen to listen to people listen to for example Joyce Meyer is someone who has been so vocal about her journey about her experiences how it affected her how she was able to heal you have different people you have um 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 uh sarah td jakes td jakes daughter she talks about her journey as well she talks about how um she's constantly empowering women empowering people you have women like that and if you're a man sorry <laughs> if you're a man you have people as well who um 
who talk about their journey listen to these people listen to what they did to help them get to where they are today listen to podcasts um listen to sermons and watch people when you're going th- i've learned with god that when god is 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 trying to work on you or do something in your life he normally normally puts one or two persons around you to help you through that journey and you just need to be able to discern who these people are so if you're going through a self-confidence journey nine out of ten if you're very 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 um, attentive there's somebody around you who God has placed in your life to help you with that journey of self-confidence it, it, it doesn't matter who you will be able to discern and that's that person that you want to bring close that's that person that you want to let in okay you want to let them in you want to accommodate them you want to welcome them into your home into your heart but you have to be able to discern because sometimes good bad people can can come in this guys so you need to be able to pray to god to help you to guide you to the people around you that he has placed to help you with that situation with that um issue that you might have and that brings me to my very very last point which is just like a, a bonus point when you go through your self journey and you get to a point in your life where you feel like okay i'm so grateful for where i have come i'm so grateful for my journey so far it might not be 100% but you've gotten to a point in your life that you just feel wow i am really really grateful for when i look back at where i was to now i'm so grateful for where i am right now be ready to help the next person god doesn't bless us so that we can just keep everything to ourselves like eh hey, it's on me it's on me no god blesses us so that we can help other people god blesses us financially so that we can be a blessing to other people god heals us emotionally emotionally so that we can be a blessing to other other people so be ready to be um to be a blessing to other people um and god will always guide you on what he wants you to do so in 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 my case um i'm here doing youtube and with the hope that one day or somehow i'm able to bless one person maybe it's a, a a girl that is also in a situation where she's constantly hearing negative things about herself and she has the opportunity to come across my video and and she's blessed she's healed that that's me you know giving back to the world giving back to my society in your in your case it might just be your church it might be in your school you might be able to identify one or two persons that you, around you that you feel like oh my god this person is going through um I mean, there are sometimes you meet people and you're just like she reminds me of where i used to be at this point in time you know those are the kind of people that if they let you I'm not saying force yourself on people if they let you you want to bring them close and help them and heal them and 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 help them through their their journey process um their their journey to healing okay that brings me to the end of this video i hope that you've been able to learn one or two things um and i pray that if you are in that place where you are journeying to self confidence i pray that god who helped me will help you will see you through will connect you to people who will help you who will lift you up who will support you who will guide you in Jesus name. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>